Sinclair, I'll apologize because I'll make this awkward for you right off the bat here because I'm going to ask Ty to talk about working with you because Ty, it is her first major role in a feature film and she's phenomenal in it. So I have high hopes there will be many, many more to come. So what is something about her you appreciated <laughs> as a scene partner that you are excited for more actors to I get to experience? This question. <laughs> you know, uh, I, I, especially in this movie, uh, I had to be in a very uh, serious headspace all the time. And um, I, you know, a lot of the times Dalton's sad or something like that. So it was really nice to go from like that headspace to go back to like hanging out in our, like where our, like we were just hang out and Sinclair's there and just to have a buddy to pal around with and just talk to about stuff. And, you know, when you're working on a film set, sometimes you go 12, 13, 14 hours into the day and you're tired and delirious and Sinclair is a very fun person to be around. So it, we had a lot of fun. Thanks, Ty. I love <laughs> hearing that. Sinclair, I'll ask you to give uh, Ty some compliments too. But first, just so our viewers can get to know you a little bit more. One, what is your favorite scary movie? And two, is there any particular, you know, acting influence or movie influence that you think is really shaping the performer you are now and will become in the future? Sure. Those are great questions. I think that first one scary movie that I love and loved my first experience of it is It. Um, like both sides of the disc, all six hours or however long it is. Um, and a performance that's influencing me now. I'm a huge fan of Emma Thompson. I think that she's so cool. <laughs> she does a bunch of different um, like characters and I would love to be able to do that one day. Yeah. Some A plus name dropping right there. I've got yeah. an it book right above my shoulder. Oh, so I, I see. Very nice. <laughs> proof of that reference. Uh, now to highlight Ty's work in of the course. film can, of course, no spoilers here, but right. can you give me a specific example of a scene where something he did for you as a scene partner made all the difference? Yeah. I mean, the way that we worked was pretty unique in the sense that Dalton's always coming from this place of darkness and Chris always has to come from this place of light. And so Ty was actually really generous with those moments of darkness. It was not like about him or pushing me away. It felt like I was being invited into it, which, you know, is m maybe a cheesier way to say that like, I've been invited into this insidious franchise by this person who's, you know, at the helm of it all. So it was, it was really nice working off of you in that way. Thank you. Yeah. Speaking of you being at the helm of it all, Ty, and also having a, a long working relationship and friendship with uh, Patrick, even after all these years of you two knowing each other and working with each other, what is something that you saw him accomplish on this set as a director that even made you think like, damn, I never even knew you were capable of that? Um, honestly, just I, I think the creativeness of this Insidious film and, and just kind of some of the, the, the shots that Patrick would, would, you know, describe to me with such enthusiasm. Like he was so excited to, to, to do this movie, make this movie. And, and he was here for all of it. And, you know, it was just such a, the way that he would talk about it got you excited about it and got you ready to come to work every day and inspired and, and ready to go. And, and that was something that was really cool to, to experience. Love hearing about good vibes on a dark set like this. Yeah. this uh, wild material. I love this franchise. I will always keep coming back for more. Congratulations. Thank, Thank you, you so much.